welcome um, everyone. It's nice to see you all. Um, so should we start with uh, an introduction? We can say who we are and where we come from. While we do, that would be great. Yeah, I'll start. My name is Keshi. I'm from Copenhagen, Denmark. And uh, my name is um, Imani. And I live in Denmark, but currently I'm working in England at Four Wings. My name, is, my name is Megan and I'm uh, from Northern Ireland and I'm currently living in London with my boyfriend and his family and I volunteer at Four Wings in Liverpool. Yeah, my name is Elizabeth and I live in Liverpool, a member of Four Wings. Uh, so my name is Mary Claire. I'm one of the directors at Four Wings, and it's really nice to see you. Uh, so today we are going to, uh, um, it's a day five of our 21 days of self-love, and the topic is, uh, um, it's what is something you need to start saying yes to. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So who would like to start? So, um... I, my, what I have to say yes to more is maybe um, when someone tells me to do something, because I have a problem with procrastinating and pushing it instead of saying, okay, yes, I'll do it now. Then I keep pushing it. Okay. Yeah, I should probably um, start saying um, yes to more opportunities to push myself um, academically and not limit myself um, just because I'm I'm smarter than I think I am and I should use the opportunities that I have more. Yeah and I think I should start saying yes when I get invitations from uh, people because personally I'm, 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 a, I'm a mix between an introvert and an extrovert that's an ambivert so and I like my own company but yeah. sometimes I get invitations from people and uh, I say no to them. And then now I've been thinking with this, with this uh, iso social isolation, how really important it is to have a, a group around you of people who can encourage you. And also you need more than your own company. And this, this situation here can show us that we really do need other people. So I guess I should be working on saying yes when I receive invitation, social invitations from people. Yeah, I think I most of us are definitely going to start saying yes to that. <laughs> yeah, for me, I want to say more to self, yes to self-discipline and um, self-love, especially in this period. Um, I'm saying yes to myself, my body, what I really need. Um, taking care more of myself. Um, saying I can reach out to people, but not necessarily going to meet them. Um, stay, reach out um, to people from a distance. And um, it's very easy to get carried away, especially now that we are, we are not really going out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have to discipline myself so that I don't over, I don't start over indulging like um, finding comfort in food because there are a lot of food now lying all over the place. Yeah, and getting fat, <laughs> so I just want to avoid that. Just listen to myself. What my body does? My body really need this? Do I really need to add this butter? Do I really need this cheese? Things like that. Just listen to my body. What my body really needs. For me, that's yeah. what I'm all about now. Just listening to my body and self and just discipline it. Um, it's really that. good. Yeah. Um, personally, I think um, I've been struggling, you know, with being a mom. Um, I feel guilty leaving my son and go enjoy myself. And I, I know. I've started doing it, so I've, I'm gonna start saying yes to just actually 
say yes to myself that it's okay to go and enjoy yourself because I think you, when you go out and meet other people, you there's so much you can learn from them and also letting yourself go. Um, I think trying it to be like a woman, a daughter or something else more than being a mom. And then I think I need to say yes to going out more and enjoy myself and meet other moms and other people. Um, so that, that's one of the, you know, the struggles to just leave my son and go out and, you know, have fun. So definitely I'm going to start the thing saying yes to, you know, it's okay to go out, you know, and be someone else more than a mom. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's like that the conversation we had about um people being afraid to like put themselves first. Yes. Uh for me, um I think um I'll I'll need to accept when people tell me that I can do better than what I think I'm doing. Because sometimes yeah. they see um, potential or even something um, beyond what I think I can do. And um, I think I will start stopping doubting and give it a go. And then, yeah, um, I know that I, I always, I, I've got some, a lot of creativity in me, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, sometimes I, I, I get afraid to try or and then I will be saying uh, maybe people will, will judge me or maybe um, they will say this and this. I just have to, to um, I think for me uh, it's to, to, to try, accept, um, what, to do more, to do beyond what I can do. Because there are a lot that I have in me, but um, at a certain time, I feel a little bit afraid to go for yeah. it. So I think I w that, that's, that's what I'm going to, to start working on, saying, yes, I can do this. Yes, I can, I can do more than what I'm doing. Oh, that's really good. That's very interesting. And welcome as well. Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, sorry. I actually uh, I had uh, struggled to log in with my Zoom. So uh, my name is uh, Miss Kana Jose Bizimana, but you can call me Jose. People call me Jose. Uh, I live in Odam. Uh, I'm a mom, a uh, single mom of two uh, beautiful children, a daughter of 19 years and a son of 15. So, and uh, I'm, um, I'm a businesswoman and I'm, uh, I'm also a founder and the chief executive of a, a charity. That's, it's, it's really nice to see you and to see, Jose, we, we, we lost you. We kind of oh. lost you. Yeah, but welcome. It's really nice. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone who would like to add something or I think that should. No, I just like to add, I, I think I got something from everyone here, like from Jose, I, this thing of believing in your own potential yeah. and people can see your potential. And when they tell you you have, have potential that you accept and say, yes, I do have potential in this time of social isolation, Isolation, knowing your limits and be limiting yourself so that you don't overindulge and and and, and disadvantage place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's um, do do you guys think I think if we are given a chance to prove ourselves we do it or is it just that comes with the uh, you know when you've been um, applying for jobs or no one gives you a chance then probably um, that can contribute to you. Yes, well, I have in mind. I have in mind the discussion from I can't remember 
but it was this discussion of self-fulfilling prophecies where yeah. um, you, you have a, a schema in your, in your brain that tells you you can't, you can't, you can't. And this yeah. is self-fulfilling in the sense that that's what you end up doing. Yeah. So when you have that schema in your head of yes, 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 I can, then you end up being successful because in or in your mind. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I think we're running out of the time. It was really nice to see you. Look after yourselves and stay safe. Thank you, you too. Thank you. you too. Thanks. Okay, thank See you, you again. Bye. 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 Bye.